there was a small kind of like street performer festival going up and there was one particular individual um, that was gaining a lot of attention. I guess I was naive, but I was very eager just to do anything. And that was kind of all I knew. And I probably should have prepared a bit more, but I, I just kind of went in blindly. I don't think, um, I don't really think anyone knew what they were getting into mm. when we started this. Thank you for taking the time to sit down with me. I understand you're a very high energy individual and sitting might cause you a bit of stress, but it really means the world. Who is your target audience for your flash mob dancing? Pigeons. Pigeons. Why specifically pigeons and what about pigeons speaks to you? When I think street theater, I think pigeons because pigeons are constantly playing to the street. Mm -hmm. We pass them by and we treat them like flying rodents, but actually they are the very essence mm -hmm. of theater. Yes. If you create a stage with wings and a backdrop and an audience, you have, mm -hmm. but a street theater with pigeons mm -hmm. is incredible is just simply incredible because they are unpredictable and they represent everything that we are wandering aimlessly absolutely so when i perform i'm not playing to <laughs> i'm not playing to the audience i'm not playing to the crowds the people no did shakespeare write for the people no no, no. he wrote for pigeons <laughs> So then, do you prefer outdoor dancing to indoor dancing? Mm, not necessarily. Not necessarily. I would say that as long as there are pigeons, there's theatre. I've done is I've created something completely original, completely original, and therefore I've kept the sex, I've kept the insanity, but it's all up here, baby. Yeah, it's, it's all going up here. It's not external insanity with looks. I don't walk into a room and people go, what is he wearing? It doesn't happen. I walk into the room and people go, fabulous. someone said, describe yourself in three words, I would say divine at least twice. Okay. What would be your third word or second? Vogue. This is my fucking livelihood, like, you know what I mean? This is how I make my fucking money, is... I'm, I'm poor as fuck, and I, like... This is how I make the money, and he comes out here and fucking... 
scares away the crowds for me. It's no fucking good. On, it's not. It's not even that you have to come down and you have to put money in the case or anything like that. But he's never ever. He's never ever put money in the case. You know what I mean? Never ever has he put money in the case. And that's what annoys me is that he's making me look stupid. He's making this me look stupid. I'm a fucking clown for Christ's sake. I love the stupid. I love the funny. But that ain't funny, man. You know what I mean? That's. If anything, it's bang out of order. No, oh, fuck it anyway. Fuck him. Fuck you too. Fuck off. I think when I first met him, um, I, I just seemed like one of those absurd individuals. Um, he wasn't very liked by the other people performing on the streets. Um, I don't really think he knew what he was doing himself. Or I, how do I put this? It's like when you watch like. Um, America's Got Talent or like Britain's Got Talent and then those those certain individuals that come on who have no clue how bad they are but are so invested in doing what they do because they just think they have something to offer. Because of course you know about flash mobs in general, the large... 2003? 2003. Manhattan. Very much so. Do you take inspiration from these or do you completely just it's a different thing. It's a different thing. thing. It's it's potato ketchup. Potato ketchup. You know, it's not even completely the different. Same species not even the same species. Potato. Absolutely. Yeah. It's um, I am um, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay. Of an idea. Okay. I go where I want. I stomp what I want. I do what I please. Not everybody loves me. Mm -hmm. Not everybody loves me. No, no. I have an acute following. Whereas mobs, flash mobs, flash mobs, they're, they're clouds, they're mountains, they're trees. Oh look, they're nice, they're pretty, oh they inspire me, mm -hmm. oh they inspire me to do good. I'm not here to inspire you. No. People say, people say like, um, are you a peacemaker? They've asked me before, are you a peacemaker? No, no. Am I a maker of peace? Have you ever felt inclined to create anything for another person? Have you ever been inspired by another human being? I would go as far to say, don't even ask me that. I'm asking you that, and I will allow this to be off record if you answer this question for me. I have once created art for a lady friend. Mm -hmm. A lady friend? For a lady friend. Just a friend? Uh, no, no, a lady friend. friend. What about her inspired this piece of work? Um, it was her birthday. It was her birthday. It was her birthday, and I performed it in front of her family. Mm -hmm. I thought it was brilliant. No, no, I didn't think. It was fucking brilliant. Mm -hmm. The end! No! No. Not the end. Time can tell when one shadowy demon says to the other, Face me! Face me! And how did her family take it? <laughs> Not very well. Not very well. What did they say? They said, this is a birthday party. Put your clothes back on and leave. Right. How did she take it? Uh, she, 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 she left halfway through. She didn't even see the end. She didn't even see the end. Was she, was she embarrassed because her parents were there or was she embarrassed by what you were doing? Oh, uh, I would say both. Mm -hmm. I would say she, she... We had only seen each other maybe twice and both times had been just crossing in the so park. Passing. Once in a lift. Did you speak to her? I said hi to her at, before I performed. Were you allowed into this house, or did you find a way into this it house? Was a, it was a garden. It was, it was a garden. A, it was her garden party. Okay. And I, apparently, wasn't invited. Showing the inner torment. Showing. Of unrequited love. <sighs> was it love or lust that you felt? Love. Absolute love. Absolute love. Have you ever felt love like that before in your life? Not even from your mother? No. Did you ever want some from your mother? No.
No, he never did. No. Was she there? Was she there often? No. No. Did you grow up alone a lot? <sighs> Were you forced to be your own best friend? I didn't need friends. I had myself. You had yourself. And who needs a better friend than yourself? Exactly. I don't I don't know anyone better than myself, so why would I want your... a better friend than myself? How present was your father? I didn't need friends. I had myself. You had yourself. And who needs a better friend than yourself? Exactly. I don't. I don't know anyone better than myself. So How why would I want your... a better friend than myself? How present was your father? My father died when I was four. Okay. He was a engineer, mm. and he was squished. Squished. By a car. Your lost soul. I know your kind. For I have followed them But never quite found myself where You all go to lose yourselves Close my mouth not to ask for help And my mother knows my eyes too well You're a truth speaker With a heart of gold Please keep me close I'd like to learn some With fool's gold I try to hide my tongue But from you speaks the very sun And I pray that you will always hold on 